Okay guys, like I said, it's a Saturday and normally each one of these lines is back clear back to there at least. And there's hardly anybody, which is again, good proof that people are taking the advice to stay home. We have some stuff at home to help fill in for the next month, but we'll be yeah. okay, right? We well, should be good. All right, here is the last box. Yeah, I'm gonna cry over just because people are amazing. I think that is just the sweetest thing. Yeah. Fresh vet. We overseas with this one, man. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Today, we have to actually go grocery shopping. So it's gonna be a little tricky because we're in quarantine, and so we're trying to go out just once a month for our entire family. And everybody's here except for Bridger. Kennedy just went back to school as well, and so she's staying in quarantine in her apartment for the next month, so we don't have two. But with Josh and Cass quarantining here, we still have a family of, I guess, 16, 17, anyway, a lot of us. We have to get through a whole entire month. So. How many carts? How many carts? I don't even want to count. And guys, we're probably gonna have to bring like the party bus because we can't fit it all in our normal vehicles and ugh, it's gonna be kind of crazy. But we're gonna take you along because we are vlogging more nowadays and so we're trying to show you kind of what we really do. And so right now you can hear the kids upstairs. They're all getting ready to shoot a video because we've been here the entire time. This is the one time we're leaving, so Cassie's like, yes, I'm gonna shoot a video without our parents here. So, <laughs> oh, wish us luck. I hope our room's not a bomb or a house bomb. They're doing something above us, because I can hear their feet. But anyway, this is how we're gonna get started with our shopping trip. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did on our other shopping trips, where I go through our cupboards, and I see what we actually have, and so I know how to make my list from there. So I go backwards, I see what food items we have in our cupboard. I make a list of what we need to complete the meals that we want, and it's for an entire month. So this is gonna be rough. And then I make a list, and then we go. So I'm gonna get the list going, and we will see you in a minute. I'm also going to go into our cleaning closet and see what supplies we might need, cleaning supplies or toiletries and Oh, guys, we're getting a little low on the toilet paper. I know that looks like a lot, but it might get us through another like week and a half, two weeks with this many people. So I'm gonna have to definitely get some more toilet paper. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that we can actually find some. We've got a bunch of groceries. We haven't gone shopping for a month. We kind of went shopping a few months ago and got a couple months worth of stuff because we knew we were gonna have to be quarantined. And so we're trying to fill in. It's still gonna be a lot, but we got our list done, and here we go. I'm gonna check out the party bus. All aboard, honey. <laughs> okay, so I don't get to sit by Benji in our new party bus. See, there's not a seat here. But you know what? That's okay. Do you miss me, though? It will. You miss me when I'm... I'll have to, like... I, know, I, I sit back here at the table behind him. It's kind of okay, because then when we got all the kids back here, I'm able to kind of be with them and make sure that they're all, you know staying in their seat belts and getting along and all of the fun stuff that a mom of 16 has to deal with. So anyway, here we go to the grocery store. Wish us luck. Okay guys, so as we are going, I don't know if you heard that beep when we were just backing up, but we had that beep, beep, beep when we're backing up. Our teenagers love it, but <laughs> it just lets people know we're backing up and it's better to be safe than sorry. But speaking of better to be safe than sorry is a few of the precautions that we do when we are going out grocery shopping. First of all, we try to hardly ever leave. Unless we absolutely have to, we try to stay at home. And so, but when we do have to go, first of all, I make sure that I have babysitters in place for all my little ones. I just try to not have any of my little kids come with me to any of the things I have to do because they touch things, they put their fingers in their mouth. Anyway, germs can spread pretty easy with little kids. So I make sure that 
all of my kids stay home for the most part unless I need a, a teenager helper and then they follow the same rules as me and dad but so what we do is we always wear gloves if we go somewhere we have a couple boxes of these we've had you know just for cleaning through the years and we've been able to use them a lot lately when we go out but it just keeps our hands clean also when we are in the store you'll notice we will only touch the items that we're actually going to purchase and put in our cart and um, we're careful not to touch too many things and then when we exit the store we throw away our gloves into the local garbage can and we put i just have this little thing a hand sanitizer on my bag and we just lather that all over our hands and so we feel pretty clean when we get back into our car we'll show you when we get home how we make sure our groceries are clean before they enter our kitchen these few things help us feel a little bit safer and just a little bit better we also really obey the rules so we don't have masks in our area it hasn't been advised that you necessarily wear a mask unless you are sick or you're in the medical profession or you're in the service but something that you're being around a lot of people a lot of the time but benji and i are not sick and we didn't want to go out and buy masks because that would take it away from the people who really need it who are sick or people in that industry or medical industry so the medical field so we didn't wear masks we don't wear masks we just make sure we stay six feet away from everybody and so we're safe so um looks like we're on our way we'll be there soon okay guys so we're here it's always a joy to park the bus looks like we're gonna have to park over here maybe we can do a straight shot i don't know maybe we can take up a couple spots because we're kind of far away from the store so benji's a pro and always like backs up he has to try take up two stalls i don't know if you can notice that <laughs> Good job, honey. All right, let's go. Okay, so putting on the gloves. No shame there. Look at my manicure. <laughs> I think the next thing we're going to have to turn our house into is a nail salon because my nails are sad. One of the things you miss when you can't go visit your friends. I have a great friend that does my nails and has done them for years, but I'll have to figure out how to do them myself. I'm trying to get tons of fruits and vegetables because they go bad the fastest so we haven't had any for a little while and the kids are dying for some and if everyone eats healthier they seem to act a little bit better and they seem to have a little bit more energy and patience and I don't know they're probably healthier so we're getting a bunch of fruits and vegetables Dad is going to get the kids some treats because you know what? You corral kids too long in the house. Yeah. Sometimes they need a treat. They got or some yummy ones now. Sometimes they need motivation, Dad, to do their job. Hey guys, we're finally done with the fruits and vegetables. And as much as we love fruits and vegetables, they don't last a super long time. And so we can only get enough for our family to eat over about a week or a week and a half, two weeks maybe. And because other than that, they're going to go bad. And so. We've gotten all that and now we're on to the freezer section which is better because you can poke things in the freezer and they last a long time. So guys, it's a Saturday at Costco and normally you can't even get down the aisle and there's literally like one person 
down this aisle with Benji, which is actually really good because people are listening to the advice to stay home and to only shop when you really need it. So I think it's really good that all of us are working together to try to slow this for everybody. And so it's kind of awesome. I think that it was scary at first, but now I just have really seen how everyone pulls together and everyone has really listened. At least everybody that I know has really listened to the advice to stay home and try to slow the curve. And I think it's working. So we're almost done here and then we're going to head to the other store to see if we can find toilet paper and then we're gonna go home and we'll show you how we clean everything off before we put it away. Okay guys, like I said, it's a Saturday and normally each one of these lines is back clear back to there at least and there's hardly anybody, which is again, good proof that people are taking the advice to stay home. That's okay, that's about as much as two weeks worth of groceries, right? That's not too bad. We have some stuff at home to help fill in for the next month, so we'll be yeah. okay, right? We should be good. All right, so we're gonna go to one more quick store, see if we can find toilet paper, and then head home. Okay. Okay, guys, they packed it a little differently than we did, but we got it all, and we're on our way. And, and now we have to do the hard part. We gotta yeah. load the bus. Home. All right, gloves. Take them off. Let's check them. All right, not touching the inside. And then I grab some wet ones and just wipe off my bag. I'm going to wipe off my phone, even though I didn't touch very much. You never know. I did have to answer one phone call. And so I'm going to wipe these off with the wet wipes. And then I'm going to sanitize my hands and we will be good. One thing left to sanitize, you. So I'm joking that I'm sanitizing the camera, but I actually am sanitizing the camera because it, it touched the basket. And so I'm gonna sanitize that. And so I watched one really good video that kind of put it like real in my mind is they said, pretend like there's sparkles on everything. And I've had a couple girls go to prom and have some sparkles fall off their dress and it gets everywhere. And they said, act like it's like you've got sparkles all over everything. You don't want any sparkles to be left on you or on your groceries when you go inside the house. So this is kind of how we do it when we get home. So normally we have all the kids come out and help us, but we can't really do that now because like I said, kids touch things and immediately touch their mouth. And so what we can sit on the front porch for like a day or two even is awesome because they said that that just keeps it so that all those sparkles kind of just are gone by the time you bring it in your house. And the things that we have to bring in the house, like the things that are cold and need to be put in the fridge or freezer, we treat those a little bit differently and we'll show you what we do with those. Okay, so Benji's just gonna go in and... Check to see if they got any toilet paper. If they don't need toilet paper, we'll I'm just gonna right stay in the back. car. You wanna have the least amount of people go in the store as possible, right? So yep. he's just gonna run and go see if we got toilet paper and let's hope for good news. All right, Wish see you luck. in a second. Okay. All right, guys, it does not look like we have good news. Well, that was a waste of a pair of gloves. Uh, I got in there and they did not have any toilet paper anywhere. The whole aisle still empty? Completely gone. Oh, so. All right. Well, we're going to be just stuck to the three squares and they'll have to deal with it. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, so we just got home and 
Normally I would run in and call the kids and be like, hey guys, come down and help us unload groceries. But it's actually gonna be the opposite today. I'm gonna have them all go upstairs so they don't touch anything. And I know this might seem a little bit like overkill to make sure that I don't introduce germs into our home. But you know, when Beckham was little, he had 24 different medications every week I had to give him so that he could breathe. And Ledger's so little that I think we have a lot of at-risk kids. And so I am super careful to not introduce germs unnecessarily to them. And so I'm gonna have them all go upstairs and we'll get started. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is put on a new pair of gloves and then I'm going to sanitize my entire countertop and make sure that it's all totally clean before we even bring in the first set of groceries. The next thing you're going to see me do is I'm going to put a tape line right in the center of my whole entire island and that's going to tell me what is clean and what is dirty. So everything on this side when Benji brings it in, it's dirty, and as it crosses this line, it'll become clean and I can put it away. For my bar, I work in sections, because it's pretty big. So I just make a square, and I even pre-sanitize it before I bring in the groceries. so that I can properly wash my vegetables and fruit. And to do that, I've been told that it's best to let them soak in soapy water for a few hours even, and then go through and wipe off each one after. Just kind of like you're washing the outside of the package. Obviously the fruit that you can't wash, you know, is a little trickier, so I just run that under um, water, and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of vinegar on it. And, and just kind of wipe it around maybe in vinegar water because that actually is fine and it's edible. So I sometimes do that if it's like strawberries or something like that. If you just do a little vinegar wash, I feel like that's about as clean as you can get them. All right guys, just for purposes of this video, I put a red line down the center of our counter. So as Benji brings in groceries, this side is the dirty side and this side is the clean side. Here we go. So what I do is I just take a sanitizing wipey and I just wipe off anything that I can't take the items out of. Like, I can't take each roll out of here, so I just wipe off the outside of it. But anything I can take out, like these have a separate packaging. I don't even set it down on my counter here. I just get it from over here, open it up, and then I pull out the inside. So that's staying relatively clean and then I can just recycle the boxes. And so that part's pretty easy. I just make a pile here of the boxes and then we just bring them out to recycle. Now, as far as the fruit and vegetables go, like I said, I throw them in the sink and I do either like a, a dishwashing liquid or, or you can use a vinegar solution. So I will go through and wash each of these items the way that we're gonna store it and then we'll put them all away. for a few days. We've left outside, but we've had to bring in all of the stuff that goes in the freezer or else it will melt or go bad. So I'm just trying to keep up with Benji and unpackage all of them. So basically the point is, unpackage everything that you can unpackage, things that you can't, wipe down the outside, fruit and vegetables, wash as best as you can, and then just think in your mind, whenever you're doing this, is there are sparkles all over the outside of this. And so, Get what's on the inside, over to your clean spot, get the sparkles out. And for the most part, that feels pretty good to me that most of my stuff is clean. So once this is done, I'm going to take a little break because Ledger needs me upstairs, so I'm gonna let Benji take over the sanitizing now that he's brought it all in. But once you're done, discard of all your gloves, discard of all of your boxes or recycle all of your boxes. And then what I usually do is rewash my hands 
I have to go out to the bus still and sanitize the seats down. And then Benji and I just take off our, you know, change our clothes to a different fresh clean outfit so that when I hug Ledger, I don't have to think, oh, I was holding all those boxes against my shirt. So I just try to really think about the sparkles that they're all over me, they're all over the groceries. Get them off before you hug on your babies. I just have to pop on here really quick and show you guys something. Something was left at my door. Look how cute, seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna cry over just because people are amazing. I think that is just the sweetest thing. I don't even know what to say. Like how would they even know that, well, I guess they probably watch my videos and know that we're a little bit low on toilet paper, but seriously, whoever you are out there and you know who you are, what a cute and just kind gesture. And it just shows to me that like, as long as this world keeps having amazing people, like people that just drop off a huge thing of toilet paper to our big family, then I think we're gonna be okay. I love you all. Thank you so much, whoever that is who did that. That's the end of our grocery shopping haul. Come over here, honey, you wanna do an outro with me? He still has his gloves on, so don't touch me. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hit that notification bell and give us a big thumbs up. Yeah, and subscribe, because that helps us a ton. We got to 500,000 subs! Woo -hoo! We're super excited about it. So subscribe, and also we're on Facebook, so check us out there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be safe. Yeah, be safe and be healthy. We love you all.